Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and today I'm going to be doing a psychic reading on the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. This is part of the Haunted series. Yes, I've started early and so I'm going to be doing a reading on that and um, I'm looking at a photo as I'm doing this um, and I'm also going to be sharing uh, the tarot that I'll be doing on this place but um, there's a a photo that I w I'm looking at right now and it's like down the corridor the halls and you see all these doors that are open um, this place so I'm gonna give you my psychic insights without using any kind of cards the first thing that I get is that there's definitely a lot of truth to this place being super haunted it's on the top category of being haunted and this is again the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum in Western Virginia sorry in Weston West Virginia so a lot of you um, know that this has been like featured in Ghost Adventures, and they've done paranormal investigations, and in other shows as well, but uh, I'm going to give you my tea from Spirit just by looking at photos. I can pick up on a lot of things here. So, um, the first thing that I get when, as, as like a psychic, as I'm scanning the place and I'm going in, you know, tuning into a photo and kind of tapping into this energy, uh, it's like already my throat is, the throat area is like being affected. So it, there's a lot of spirits that, that are there that are earthbound that definitely want to say something, that definitely want to communicate, but they have been, um, they either died in the facility or they, um, you know, they feel kind of trapped to, they can't move on. So a lot of these have died there or they died at a different place, you know, like the workers that would go home to their homes, they would die later and then come back to this place because it was almost like it, it draws a person in. It's very spooky. It reminds me of The Shining. It reminds me of that. It would have immense effects on anyone that is um, spiritual, anyone that has strong spiritual abilities, psychic or intuitive abilities, but specifically mediums would be very affected going in here. You would have anything from like being choked, feeling like you are out of breath, heart palpitations to being scratched. Um, I feel like there's so much kinetic energy as well and just um, like poltergeist slash demonic energy in this location that it's enough that people could be actually tossed across a room. Um, you could actually be severely harmed and it could potentially lead up to, I, I don't want to say it, but to someone uh, dying in this place. If you were to spend um, like a, you know, spend 24 hours in the place every single day or if you were a patient here back then, it was like accumulation. Like what happened to this place is that over the years, when, while it was operating as a lunatic asylum, so many people died in the facility. And a lot of these people that were um, still alive within the facility itself as patients, a lot of these patients probably suffered from some mental illness, but also had a part of their brain that was switched on, like their psychic gifts and stuff like that. So basically what happened was like a lot of that psychic energy was being projected out into the hall, out into the, the rooms, each specific room. Um, the things that they would go through, the electric shock therapy, the or you know, whatever kind of, I'm just using that as an example, but whatever treatments they would go through, getting pills, um, being drugged up, um, you know, being strapped. All of these things created a psychic energy that was never cleansed. This place has never been cleansed. It is a super, super, and I can't emphasize enough, uh, haunted. From the outside looking in, if you're looking at photos and, or you, you know, you are just looking at on TV, you don't necessarily tap into the energy. I'm tapping into it and it's so overwhelming. My head hurts like right here. Just my third eye is like throbbing just looking at this photograph. I also see blood um, on the wall. So I don't know if they've done, people have broken in and or they've done sacrifices and rituals here in this place, but I definitely get a lot of that energy that is going through. Um, demons are very much real. They prey on the living that go there. So paranormal investigators that would go would definitely experience something like um, battery drainage or, you know, equipment malfunctioning or cameras like working, but then just not picking up any picture or audio. Um, so there's just, so I also get that there's cold spots. I don't know how many floors that go up, but I kept hearing three. So something with the third floor, if there is a third floor, again, I, I'm not familiar with the Trans Allegheny um, Lunatic Asylum. I don't know if it has up to like three floors. Um, so let me look at a picture. I'm going to just Google a picture. Um, I have my phone. It's locked. I'm just going to 
look at a picture. I try not to know anything about a place um, before I actually read uh, when I do like these haunting things. So um, let's see, Trans Allegheny. Oh, people that would be there would also have vision problems because my eyesight is getting blurry as I'm um, tuning in, which is kind of scary. Um, so this is what it looks like from the outside. Um, let me see. How many floors? Let me Google. How many floors? Okay, so I'm Googling how many floors does it have. It did close in 1994. Um, four floors. Okay, so it had four floors. Okay, so four floors, if I'm not mistaken, is what I, I actually Googled and saw. Um, the place, again, is super, super disturbing. Um, it, like, for me, being a psychic uh, medium, um, going to this place, I would not probably be able not be able to spend more than an hour if or two. Um, and I would probably be out of there. I would not stay for several hours at this place at all. But it is super, super haunted. Um, I feel like you can hear sounds. Um, when I tune in, I see, like, souls that are trapped there, uh, crazy people actually on the walls, um, clinging to the walls and, like, kind of, like, reaching their hands out from the walls and um, hiding in the walls, going through the walls. Um, it's like a lot of like, like, you know, like, like that. It's kind of like a blur when you tune in. It's like so much energy going in and out, in and out, in and out from that actual, um, location. Um, yeah, it is like really, really bad. Let me look at uh, some other photos here so I can show you, um, some other photos. Here's a, a photo of the children's room, I believe. I'm not sure. This is one where they have, like, toys and stuff set up. It's a green room. And this is, like, another hall. This is actually what I was looking at, the photo I'm looking at right now. So many people that um, were, like, not well mentally. Of course, it was a lunatic asylum, so you imagine what kind of people were there. Um, these people, like remain the same characteristics and in death some of them and of course with demonic energy in there there's a lot of trapped souls that cannot move forward so they're just like they feed off of the energy of people that are living that go there and visit um again shadow figures you would see shadow figures um you would see um you would see a lot of like shadow figures um just like blobs that don't even look like shadows a lot of apparitions, things would be moved, uh, objects would be thrown, um, you, would, you would get all of that. It's also, there's a sensation in there that affects, like, the, the actual electricity of a human body, so, like, palpitations, uh, arrhythmias, um, things like that would cause cardiovascular events later on. Um, things from this place can, even though they're trapped, some things can go and follow other people home. So again, if you were to go to a place like this to investigate, never take anything from this place, even if it looks like it's just a penny or something, leave it there. That's the worst thing that you can do. Um, never go into this place without being protected and then cleansing your energy upon going out of it. Because again, it's very, very haunted. There was something spirit, I have a, a male spirit that was there. I don't know if he was like a caretaker, a security guard, someone that has passed already. Um, and he's telling me that, and he's standing there and he's saying that, you know, there was a lot of things that they did to these patients that um, there was a lot of rape, sexual abuse, things like that, that these uh, some employees actually did to these patients, which is very sick and made them even more crazier. Um, they were given high doses of medicines and stuff they weren't supposed to. Um, I feel like there was just a lot of 
money also something about money being taken or hidden so i don't know like if people um the state paid them money to run this asylum but it was a lot of corruption that was going on in this this location and um let me go ahead and pull some cards here to see get some more answers to the story here get some clarifications but yeah it's super haunted trust me when i say that it's it's super haunted I'm using my Rider Weight Tarot deck. There's a Sue that they're mentioning, a Sue, and then um, an Anna as well as a, a Bobby. So there's like so many different names that are being um, mentioned. Somebody, I don't know, somebody hung themselves in this place, but there was definitely, like, I keep hearing murder, murder, murder. I don't know, but I do feel like there was definitely someone that was hung or that hung themselves as well. People that were there could, did commit suicide. Um, Yeah, people that, employees that would work there didn't last long. That Some of them had paranormal experiences, but a lot of them actually were forced to leave because as the years progressed before it actually closed down um, and it operated as an asylum, a lot of the employees would have to leave this place, is what I'm hearing um, the spirit, male spirits say, uh, because they were not happy with the situation. They had to get away from this place. It was wreaking havoc in their own personal lives and their own health as well. Um, and also, it just being around this environment and seeing what um, you know people are going through uh, affects other people. There's also something with like a red light when the, all the lights were off. Um, this old this man is telling me is that there was like this uh, red light that would be flashing. You could see like two red eyes, which would be like demonic energy, but also um, just like red eyes following you through the darkness. Um, is what I keep getting. Um, there was definitely a lot of a lot of struggles in this place, um, and I, I just get the sense that you know uh, somebody with power wanted to keep it open, but for the most part, spirit was part of the reason you know of actually closing this down. I feel like there was investigations that were done. There was a people's families that were not happy with this lunatic asylum. They knew that there was a lot of corruption and things like that. So it runs very, very, very deep. Um, again, like I said, if you, I don't know if this place is open for people to see, like to do paranormal investigations or visit it, but be very careful if it, if you do go and you're a paranormal team and they allow you in the um, Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum in West Virginia, Weston, West Virginia. Um, just remember that. Um, it is it is one of these places that you want to be very prepared and you know be full of armor, spiritual armor with like praying to Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, praying to God, you know having some holy water, having some Palo Santo, some sage, um, you know the drill. I've always spoken about this very openly in my channel, and it's no different with this um, location. But yeah, um, I feel like you know over time, like this is going to be a place where eventually i feel like eventually it's gonna be like deemed harmful uh or hazardous for people to go in that's what i keep feeling the dead want them out and the dead want peace they want actually to leave this place even if mediums were to go in there like i'm a medium if i would ask them you know and create a portal of light for them to to travel into and to leave this place a lot of them can't because um they are bound to these demons and bound to this negative energy it's just like they're shackled and stuck there which is very very sad uh very very sad and um weird writings like scratches on the walls as well that have appeared now these are from the demonic energy and also like um streaks of blood um and i and i see like claw marks like um it's weird to explain what i'm seeing because a lot of you may think that i'm crazy i'm not crazy um, but I actually see, like, red claw marks on the ground, like, on, not the ground, but the actual floor of the asylum. 
um, which is like a white towel. It looks like, you know, a, a regular hospital floor. But I see like streaks of blood and I see symbols. Like, I don't know if they've cleaned this place up because it had some symbols drawn on the floor. But I keep eyeing with my eyes and my third eye. I see symbols like um, of blood in the floor. It's, it's very, very creepy. Um... And there would be like a stench of odor in one of these places. Again, cold spots. Um, yeah, just overall creepy, creepy, creepy place. Is it haunted? Yes, it is. Is it super haunted? Yes, it's one of those up there in the super haunted list. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you. Until next time, have an amazing day or night. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.